Today's show is made possible by Epic TV. It's the reason I could do Crossroads full time. Now with big tech censorship and demonetization, it's becoming a lot harder for journalists like myself who don't follow the establishment's narratives. But having our own platform lets us bring you the truth. If you want to support me, you'll be getting a lot more at Epic TV. We have a large and growing content library and of course, my exclusive live Q&As on Sunday. There's a link in the description below for a free 14-day subscription to Epic TV. And if you want to stick around after that, it's your support that allows myself and others to speak freely and to keep reporting the truth. The link for that free trial is ept.ms forward slash free trial underscore Josh. I hope to see you there. Euphemism is one of the key things to understand when you're talking about our politics of our time. Diversity, equity, and inclusion, they sound great, but then you actually look into the specifics. How is it practiced? What are its objectives? It becomes something that is manipulative at its core. This actually was formed in the same ideologies that critical race theory is based on. I realized that there was actually kind of a parallel. Um, a lot of the prison gangs, uh, for example, emerged with a black nationalist or Marxist-Leninist ideology in California. They were tightly interconnected with the revolutionary movements of the late 60s uh, and early 1970s. And those same revolutionary movements, those same ideologies, were a really a focal point for the discipline of critical race theory that emerged a generation later. 